Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radsko Tarot and this is going to be Libra Sun, Libra Moon and Libra Rising weekly tarot reading for July uh, 23rd to July 29th, 2018. Four cards spread for Libras and let's jump directly into the reading. Now the first card showing up the topic of their week that is going to be the Ace of Cups. The second card shows up the core of the situation here that is going to be the temperance card and then we do have the challenges that you need to overcome. This is going to be the nine of swords and then is going to be the five of swords which points to the guidance here guys. I, I mean I am uh, seeing patterns here with Libras. And these patterns are uh, with the previous couple of weeks and even that week is that uh, a love is coming in your life guys and if you don't, um, inv if you haven't invited it until, the, until now, maybe this week is your final chance here because the tendency is changing as you can see in the last cards which are taking a more grim standpoint but not in this particular reading. So what happens here is the Ace of Cups is the topic of the week which is the tremendous um, new perspective. The Ace of Cups always takes place for the uh uh, a spot of your heart once emptied now is fulfilled back again so there will be a, a condition a person maybe you know a situation or in generally a turn around of events which are going to fulfill your heart with joy again and uh, nothing will seem the same when you see the world through that overflowing joy and that could very well be a, a person that you will start dating all right and we do have the temperance here as a core of the situation which points that the conditions will be just perfect guys because the temperance doesn't go into neither of the extreme all right it always keeps the balance here and uh, uh, the conditions will be perfect for your career, the conditions will be perfect for your relationship, etc, etc. And only thing you need to do here is just take advantage of it. Uh, and how you can take advantage of it is by kind of like catching that thing and, and, and allowing it to be something for you to look forward. So basically this is going to be a meaningful circumstances during that particular week, which are going to allow you to see the life into its brighter side, and that in, into its... Um, uh, a better side should I say it that way but then we do have here the challenges which is the nine of swords and somehow to me that kind of that card here looks like something it's way too good to be true all right it's kind of like you may have your doubts about it you may uh think that for example if that's a person uh it, it, that person has his or her surreptitious intentions toward you while they don't all right this card always comes as a um a despondency in a sense of that uh, you can uh, find yourself stifled of making a certain step forward because you may think that the risk is way too high or you may be afraid that you're going to do something uh, to repeat excuse me a, a same mistake from your past this is very characteristics for those who have been uh, uh, how can I place it, um, disappointed, all right, or rather have a, a poignant experience from a, a many relationships in the past and now someone new comes, you know, and you kind of like approach it with, uh, with great care, uh, with, with great cautions, should I say, cautions, not care, but cautions, uh, because, uh, you know, you may think that this thing is going to happen again, you know, the, the despondency and the poignant situation and etc, etc. While the Ace of Cups says that you have to rather invest into it, all right, because this is something new to look forward to. And then we do have the Five of Swords, which is uh, the core, which is the guidance here. And the, high, the Five of Swords is a very... Um, how can I say it? Violent card in the sense of that you need to be ruthless. And as well, you should kind of like do what is necessary, ruthless from that point of view. Do what is necessary to find yourself happy, all right? It's because it's about your happiness. Ace of Cups is very singular card. It regards to your happiness, not to the happiness of all. And with uh, the appearance of these couple of cards, of course, there will be a displeased people about your decision. If you decide to look forward to that particular thing which is going to happen, that is going to give you something meaningful in your life but at the end we cannot please everybody right so why don't we please ourselves instead 
<clears throat> so that being said, Libras, it does look like that this week, again, is going to present you meaningful things uh, with uh, the Ace of Cups. It's going to make you feel happy, guys. And if you don't feel happy, it is because you are afraid to feel happy, all right? Because uh, the fear of feeling happy is the fear of that happiness is going to end one day. But nothing is eternal in this universe, and I think that you should catch that particular moment and make yourself much more happier, much more joyful and uh, make your life all of a sudden start worth living again if right now you have lost faith in the future. That being said, this was your weekly tarot reading Libras for July 23rd to July 29th. Be on your watch out for your new love, for your new job, for your new project <clears throat> or for the opportunity, you know, to change your life during that particular week and I hope you enjoy the reading. If you are interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.